Tri releases M2M recommendations. All existing telecom service providers can be allowed to provide machine to machine, M2M, or IoT solutions within their specified circle of operations, telecom regulator Tri said in its recommendations. License holders can use existing Spectrum to provide IoT services while Tri is also considering the licensing Spectrum under the 867 to 868 MHz, 915 to 935 MHz and 57 to 64 GHz bands for M2M and IoT. The regulator has also put forward recommendations on SIM roaming, quality of service levels, privacy, security and other aspects of IoT slash M2M. Below is a lowdown of the recommendations. Note that these recommendations will be reviewed and approved by the Department of Telecommunications, DOT, and are not yet enforced. Who can provide M2M, IoT services? DOT license holders including VNOs, like pointed out above all basic service, data, voice, licensees, virtual network operators, VNOs, and ISPs are allowed to provide M2M service in India including on unlicensed band, within the area of their existing authorizations, barring M2M cellular services, Tri said. Critical IoT slash M2M services should be provided under licensed spectrum, the government, through DOT, should identify critical services and differentiate them from non-critical services, the regulator said. IoT and M2M applications in healthcare, remote surgery, driverless cars etc. require high cost, ultra-reliability, very low latency, very high availability and accountability. Therefore, these critical services should be provided only by robust wired optical fiber, copper network or LTE-capable access networks, Tri added. Each sector can have its own IoT regulations. IoT and M2M services are still at a very nascent stage in India. Industry regulators, apart from TRI, like Central Drug Standards Control Organization, National Highways Authority of India, Inland Waterways Authority of India, Central Electricity Regulatory Commission, etc. and Ministry of Law and Justice can constitute their own regulations and policies regarding M2M and IoT solutions. New M2M service providers, MSP, category, an IoT or M2M service provider can also be a telecom service provider and could also provide services for both enterprises and home users. Try wants M2M slash IoT providers to identify themselves as an MSP legally. Because some telecom providers might also provide telebanking, e-commerce, call center hosting, vehicle tracking, etc. But these will be classified under other service providers, OSP, list. Exclusive guidelines for M2M service provider, MSP, registration should be issued. MSPs should also provide details of the connectivity provider who would be providing connectivity to their M2M application, try added. Like and share this video and for more news and updates subscribe to our YouTube channel.